And we're off here. Now time was high school home of the Nighthawks out of Valley, Arizona. Game tonight versus Ironwood versus the Brainer Colts. Alright folks, we are live here right now. Got my partner Theory, this is myself Titus. We are today here, I think Theory already gave the introduction, we're over here at the Ironwood Ridge Nighthawks versus Buena Coates. Uh, we are already right now with um, He's on C with the mid-range 2.0. by 2. Sieg is the best player out there, averaging 15 points a game right now. 2.8 rebounds a game. Shot there by Brian Wood. That was, that was Kane right there. That's our multi-sport athlete. That num number five, number Kane, is actually he's going to the University of Arizona on a uh, uh, baseball scholarship. Wow, it's impressive. Very he's impressive. The best player on that because he's it's essentially the best player on the basketball team. Yeah, he's averaging what 19, 19 points a game, I believe. No, um, the last the latest stats I have here is twenty point three. with the ball, lobbed it up. Oh, rolls off. Pretty sure you won't see King. Missed too much of those. See it again, traveling with the ball. Correction, that's Seed. With the mid range. Second mid range. That's a pretty good game. I'm not afraid to shoot it. All right, off the mark here. We have Hawthorne driving down the court right now with the ball. He's going to slow it down right here at the top. Passing it off to Adams. All right, back to Hawthorne. He drives in. Back to Adams. Adams back to Hawthorne. Hawthorne's driving in. He gets that ball out. They get it back. Number one, Sang goes up. Count the basket. So right now, what I'm noticing in theory, looking at the game right now, out of all the schools we've been to, it is another school that I'm seeing right now without the shot clock. Um, I believe in the rules, the way it works out is if you get to playoffs and you don't have a shot clock, you cannot host. Um, I imagine, I do believe, I don't, I, I, I see Ironwood making it to the playoffs, so I don't know if it's like the same situation as Flowing Wells, where they haven't got their shot clock yet because they, they said that it's stuck on a ship coming over. Yeah, that's a big advantage for the, um, the student athletes here to get a home, home playoff game. So I'd imagine they I'd imagine they get that fixed before a playoff game. 30 second timeout. I mean... I'm not no you know, technician or anything, but how hard could it be to get a shot clock? All right, so we have a 30-second timeout right now being called by the Nighthawks. Let's see how they're going to readjust right now. They're right now, they are down 6-0. Six, six to zero. Five minutes and 44 seconds left in this first period. And Sieg has all the points. All the points in the game. He missed a free throw on the foul attempt there, but it's Sieg 6 and... Uh, I spoke to Night Nighthawks, um, the Colts coach before the game. You know, the team is you know, number one and two record right now, but they have four guys missing at the start of the season, just getting these guys back. All right, ball back in to Hawthorne. Good defense. Seems like the Nighthawks are in the, are they in the zone or they're playing man to man. They're they're playing man. Whoa, whoa. Let's let's see here. Two really bigs down there fighting for the ball. That's hustle. Yep. That's hustle right there. I love it. Overton plays really hard. This is the second time I've seen him play. He plays hard. Takes the ball down from there. Oh, we have a turnover here right now. They're going to push the ball. We got Singh coming down. He pulls up. 
Thanks to nothing C. He has all the points. And now you can see why he averages 15 points a game. All right, so it looks like the Nighthawks here are in a motion offense. Noah's going to drive. They're going to need that from him today. All right, that's going to be off the Nighthawks here. So far, it seems like, you know, the Colts offense is pretty much running through. And Hawthorne. Well, you know, the last several years, me watching um, how Blaine has played, you can see that they are a very defensive mind team. Um, you know, if you are coming down in a half court offense, sometimes you're playing into, to, to, into their hands. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing how good this team is coming from, the, from a small town. They graduated eight seniors last year, three of which are playing at the next level. A steal right there. Drives. But you got Hawthorne running the court. Just to see Hawthorne. Right now, Hawthorne's got the rebound and Sieg again with the three pointer. He gets right back there on defense. Throws a foul. All right, yeah, we have a hand check. It's going to be on number 20. Nelson. Throws a foul on number 20, Noah Nelson. It's Noah Nelson's first foul. Entering the game for Wayne at number 14. So Hunter when you're Hunter. saying that, you know, it's, it's kind of strange being a, a small, you know, community coming down from, you know, the whole Buena area for sports, there's there's advantages and disadvantages of that. I would say for them, part of their advantages of that is, is everything's in house. They have their, their club. It's not like there's four, five, six, seven, eight club teams. I believe there's only like one club team down there. So most of these kids are playing year round together. Exactly. Hanley with the miss there, stolen by Taylor. Hanley backs up. This is again more Williams with the rebound. Back up. They really needed that one. 11 to 5. Colts leading the Nighthawks. All right. So what's crazy is earlier today, I saw number three, Ryan, with the floater right now. Working hard in the gym, getting everything he needs to get done, going to get the game started right now. Another mislap. Seems like we always talk about mislaps, right? Oh, Seed with the step back, three. Travel. Kids are falling in love with that step back. I don't know if it's a Luka, it's a Luka Doncic thing or a Steph Curry thing. It's a James Harden thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> James Harden invented event it. Yeah. Um, one of the things I saw with that, with the, the whole step back, kids don't understand with that step back when James Harden's doing it and he's taking all those steps. I saw they, that someone was saying like, or actually I saw a video, the ball is still spinning when he's gathering with it. Yeah. So the ball's still in motion, so he can take as many steps, I would imagine, that, which most people is going to call a, a foul on like the, the college and the high school and the junior high level. But in NBA, it's just because that ball is actually spinning. My son made that move one time in the left hand, just don't try it, it's an NBA move. Three pointer. Is, is that when he you broke your ankles? <laughs> and you came. Just like that, you have the Nighthawks back in this game right now, 10. Nighthawks, 11, Buena. If you see what just happened right there. Oh, my goodness. Another three. These teams are just going at it right now. Cooper Haymar with the three-pointer. 
The matchup to look for now is, you know, the Andrew Kane against Sieg. Because Kane hit that three-pointer, and he's right there with face guarding Sieg. And here comes Sieg with the ball. Kane again guarding him. He uses the screen, rolls around, picks up his dribble. Yeah, I, th I, thought, I, thought, I thought that was a double dribble there. That was respectable. Let's yeah. Go, let's just get down the court. Don't worry about it. Get on the next play. Tyler bringing up the ball. Overton. Back door. Can't do that with Hawthorne right there. Yep. That kid is quick. Can guard like the best defenders. Oh, spin move. Travel. I, I, if I, the travel versus getting that charge. Yeah. I initially thought it would have been a charge. Overton with the ball. Being guarded by Hooper. Haymore, sorry. Just like that, it's a one point game, folks. I've been seeing that kid hit three since the sixth grade. Nice hustle. I've been seeing him hustle like that on defense since the sixth grade. Yep. See, you gotta be his, careful, though. He has his hands full tonight. He got that foul. So right now we're going into like about 7.4 seconds left in this first period. Got Ironwood Ridge 13, Buena 14. Again, 7.4 seconds left in this first period. Let's see how what they're going to run right now. Uh, I would imagine Sieg is going to take that last shot. Two seconds left. He drives, shows the ball. Blocked by Noah. Noah Williams. Spoke to Coach Todd Kane before the game, and he says that he's going to take advantage of his bigs, you know. And, you know, not much teams in town have bigs, and uh, Iron Wood is fortunate to have two of them. All right. So we're going to see both these coaches right now. You're probably going to come in with a different game plan than how you started the game because it does seem like they are pretty much evenly matched. It, it looked like at one point that they were going to run away with the show, Buena was, and then out of nowhere, our guys over here at Ironwood Ridge got going. That's the thing. Like, you you know, when you're on the road, you know, you can't be too happy with any small lead. Because a team like that's talented, well, like Ironwood, with the size, with the shooting of Andrew Kane and Ryan Taylor, you know they're never going to be out of the game. All right, we're about to get started in the second period. Before we get started, just want to let anybody who's out there watching, if you can get the opportunity, go ahead and please follow the channel. Uh, we're trying to get this information out as far much as possible about all of our, our, our Arizona, our Southern Arizona, our Pinal County kids playing basketball right now. Best way to do it is everybody to support. All right, we're dumping this ball down low. We got two bigs versus versus each other. That was a little high, but oh, he's going to the line. He's going to shoot two. Number 14 is about to go shoot us two two buckets. Haymore. Hunter Haymore with the rebound and the putback. That's on foul committed by 32. I say over 10. The line, number 14, Haymore, shooting two. Initial shot was by that big, A.J. Forrest. Him and um, Noah Williams so look probably going to go at it all night tonight. So I'm looking here. I, I'm not for sure. I don't, I don't think, uh, you know, we got we got a couple good teams, you know, within, within the Tucson area, right? Looking around, I don't see anybody in Tucson with size – of both of these teams, right? No, and no. I'm wondering, like, oh, actually, I apologize. Uh, South Point has Pasha, right? He's about six, six, eight. Is he that tall? I thought he was like six, six, six. six. I thought they had a list at six, seven, six, eight. But I could be wrong. Yeah. You know, when 
when there's listing size it's usually a couple of inches off. Joey Rossetti checked in for Overton. Oh, that could have oh, been a travel oh, right oh, there. Williams put the ball on the floor. Rossetti just fresh off the bench, drives, hands it off to Taylor. Bang, bang, Another just three. like that. Quick assist to Rossetti off the bench. Another three points for Taylor. And we have a 16 to 15 game. That's staying with the play right there. I, that was a wall of white, and all of a sudden you just had number 20 come out of nowhere and just get that rebound and go back up. Yeah, Noah Nelson's been playing a good game today. See you again. Well, it seems like we've been saying that all night. Oh, pass hey. it to Forrest. Hey, hey. Oh, hold on a second. Did he try to – did, did he just try to – Rim stuff. <laughs> He trying to catch a body. Hey, he, hey, you know what happened? It's like you're in the car and you got a seatbelt on. Yeah. And all of a sudden you just hit the brake. He tried to catch a body <laughs> three, four around him, but, you know, I, I applaud him for doing that. You know, he loved the effort. Hold on with the ball. Dribbles up top, drives. Stops. Nelson. Haymore back out to sing. Out of bounds. Pretty good defense there. Ryan Taylor and C. And for your Nighthawks, number two, Boyan It's crazy because it seems like they're playing rush, but they don't have to be rushed because there's no shot clock. Yeah. Bojan Jovic checks in for Noah Williams. Hawthorne, Hawk Freak. Mid range. Just a little short. Ryan Teller with the rebound pushes it, passes it to Rossetti. Uh, Out of right, bounds by Jovic. Or through his hands. Probably still a little cold. Jovic's the biggest kid on the court, isn't he? Yeah. What, what, what's his list size? Want to say about 6'10? Uh, yeah, just about 6'10. Because um, Forrest is a big guy, 244 for, for Buena. And Jovic, it's towering over him. Haymore with the three. It's a back and forth game right now. It seems like more three, three point um, field goals are going in. Even though both teams are not shying away from getting into the paint. Good pass there to Rosetti down the paint. Jovic is coming out, bringing out Forrest. Gets the ball on the floor to Rossetti. Uses the screen. Jovi better be careful moving those feet. Yeah. Well, I apologize, number 23. Rossetti. Rossetti, yeah. He called it. Travel. Oh. I didn't realize Sieg. Sieg is out the game. So it's Hawthorne leading the show now. 13, Gordon checked in. Listen, Gordon checked in to see. Offensive, or I'm sorry, uh, offensive foul or, or illegal screen. Personal foul on number 13, Mason Gordon. Yeah, that was on Gordon. First personal foul. First foul. You know, I, I've, I've watched, you know, several games I've, I've been watching this year. And, you know, even when I go out and, you know, I try to help out and, you know, would, would, would go out and help officiate some games. I try to tell those kids, hey, stop moving your feet. Like, you, you have to stand there. You, you can't move over to the side. You can't lean over. As soon as you get there, you set that screen. You cannot move. Yep. Good defense there by Hawthorne. Ryan Taylor. Ryan. Ryan Taylor is filling, filling up the, stat, the, the, the stats right now. Post game. Ball was right there. You got to grab it. If you look at the the French guy, the projected number one overall pick next year, Wimbledon. He's a very tall dude with guard skills. And that's what some of these bigs are missing. Like, you can tell, like, you know, you get that kid to 
do a little bit more handling skills. He could get that. Could, that could be an easy shot for him all the time. Missed three-point field goal there by Andrew Kane. But when 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 does that start for these kids? You know, when when you got kids yeah, start in middle school. Oh, Hawthorne blows by quick. the defense so quick. See, when I when, you know, in my day when I did something like that to somebody else, say turn around, say all day, yeah, all day. <laughs> he can. He looks like he can have that shot all day if he wants. Because he's so quick. Teller back to Rosetti, three-pointer off the mark. Jovic with the rebound. Big rebound. Back to Kane for the three. Iron on Kane. You got to call a foul right there. Can't try to grab the ball from the back. Yeah. This going to be the number 24. Aiden Hayling. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Aiden got away with one right there, but that's good. Number 24, though, for... Um, for Nighthawks, man, he is a tough little player. I've been seeing him play for, again, since sixth grade. Always been hustling. Fresh blood in the game for the Colts. All right, we got three minutes and ten seconds here left in this second period. 18, Ironwood Ridge, 22, Buena. Drive. Off his foot. Off oh. his foot. Oh, that's, that's, that's a gift right there. All right, folks, if you're tuning in right now, if you can, if you can please take the opportunity to su subscribe to the channel. We're going to try to get you guys more content out of, of our southern Arizona kids out here in, um, from down from Tucson and below and also from the Pinal County area. D'Angelo Hawthorne with the ball. Missed shot by Hunter Haymore. Teague again with the ball. He has a pretty good handle. He uses it. Stops. Floater. Big man pulled, pulled in front of the rim. He had to let that go. If he could master the floater shot with all the rest of his game, but he's he's a kid that could play at the next level. Number 44, A.J. Forrest. A.J. Forrest checks back in the game. But well, we only got, we, for Flores, we only got, what, the, the three-pointer from that first half or the first period? Yeah. So they have Jovic and the Warriors back in the game, so they're going big. Hustle. Motor. Ryan. Ryan continues to put up the statue. <laughs> Ryan is busted today. <laughs> oh, we have a charge. Who is that charge on? Is it Forrest? Point of foul was committed by number 23, D'Angelo Hawthorne. D'Angelo Hawthorne. Entering the game for Reyna, number zero, DeAndre Hawthorne. Guess you replace the Hawthorne with the Hawthorne. Yeah, I don't wonder if they're twins. <laughs> D Hawthorne, D Hawthorne. We have DeAndre and D'Angelo. C again guarding Teller. He was guarding um, Andrew Kane earlier. Let's see what Aiden has three. here. Oh, Dr. Jovic. Now. Jovic is putting the ball on the floor. You got to be careful. He, you know what I loved, would love to see him play like the big kid up in, at, from Cactus. Yeah. How, how he's probably. He, it's, on. Oh. Very quick. Very quick and very coordinated. Yeah. He pulls it together. That's, that's next level right there, people. Ball inside to Jovic. See, almost with the steal. And he forced another force turnover. He's playing both sides of the ball very well. Oh. Took yeah, some steps with a step back. Travel violation called on Nelson there. You know, that, the, what I was saying at the start of the game, this Colts defense is legit. Yeah. Like, it's legit. Only other defense I've seen probably, you know, on par, if not, like, pretty much the same. Because I, I want to you know, I, I'm a little biased, you know. But I would say that's the world defense. That's the world defense is, is another little nightmare of a defense. Well, I mean, they have, um, they have, um, 
the little girl's name? Cisco? Cisco. Yeah. Cisco. Yeah. yeah, Cisco, hey, that kid over at Saguaro High School, man, that he is uh his hands. Is it, it but that's what I'm seeing right here when I'm watching like number one for Buena when I'm watching number zero, like how quick their hands are. Yep. And like I said earlier, like Brenna, they they have a pool of talent. So they graduated eight players last last year, right? And three of them are playing at community college right now. One's at Pima, Cooper is at Pima, Freddie Hyatt is at Cochise, Jake Smith is at Scottsdale Community College. That's three players, and they and they, and they just like and they're pretty. They went. They lost in the semifinals last year to the eventual winner of the five A. And I think their only only starter was Cawthorn. That's that's out here right now, right? Yeah, that's their only starter from last year. That's as I hear on this floor. So they they pretty much have a deep system down there where they like have just plug and play. Because I'm looking at at at, at C. He probably didn't play much last year, but look how good he is. Well, think of it like this though, with um with with with, with Moina. Last year at the halfway point, they were ranked they were pretty much ranked number one the whole year. The whole year, yeah. I believe they got their first loss when they played South Point. Yeah. That was a close game. It was a close game and they got their that was their first loss they had got of the year. Hawthorne got away with a little bit of a travel oh, there. Nelson. Nelson again drives back out to Sieg for the three. Nelson, but yeah. Nelson. <laughs> it's the Sieg. It's the Sieg show. And I actually just, oh, Noah Nelson with the steal drives. Ooh, lady. Oh, lady. Easy thing that kids should learn. Like he just stretched out his hand, forces like he either was gonna score or the defender was gonna follow. Seven seconds left in this first half. No, with the ball out of bounds is gonna go back to the Nighthawks. 3.2 seconds left in this first half. 21 Ironwood Ridge, 29. Oh man, how is that ball? How's that ball for the Nighthawks? That was looked like it was definitely out of Noah Williams. Oh, that was blocked. All right, folks, we're going into halftime right now. 21 Ironwood Ridge, 29 Buena. We have ourselves a basketball game right now. Yeah, we have ourselves a game. I don't I don't expect the Nighthawks to lay down and go away. So No, no, not at all. Deep student section right here, and you could see how they could get back in the game easy with the three-point shot by Kane, by um, um, Ryan Taylor. So it's going to be a good second half. I'm looking forward to it. But even... You know, even right now, I, I imagine Boyne is going to go in that in the halftime. Maybe look over some stats. Identify that Ryan's actually doing it. Yeah. Is the one leading the charge right now against him? Maybe make some adjustments. And and, and if I'm Ironwood, like I, I really like it's a, it's only a um, eight point game. So you gotta utilize your bigs. You gotta go down to um, Noah. You gotta go down to Jovic and get them to get some easy buckets. All right, so what we're going to do right now, folks, we got about nine minutes and 35 seconds here before we start this second half of the, of the game. We are going to go dark right now. We are going to pause right now. We're, we're going to see you guys back here probably about one minute before the game starts for the second half. Other than that, this is Titus Palmer. David Thornelin. We're signing off. We'll see you here back at the second half. Thank you. Hey folks, welcome back. We are here at the start. Of the second half. 
Brenna comes out to an eight point lead. See if they could nurse that lead to a victory. Missed shot there. Oh, still Steel by, by Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Back out to sing. Let's see if he get the hot hand started this this, this period. No, oh, that's off the mark. Ryan with the rebound. He's coming down the court. Aiden with the ball. He has 14 points right now. Leading the way for the Colts. Aiden with the three-point shot. That is off. Noah Nelson and Forrest fighting for that rebound. Seeing with the rebound, though. Another step back. Nelson chases that down. Oh, he missed the... Sieg was cutting to the basket there. A foul caught on Aiden. Number 24. Night foul committed by number 24. Aiden Henley is first personal foul. First foul for Henley. Inbound to Forrest. Sieg drives, use the screen. Tie up. Possession arrow goes to the Nighthawks. About a minute and 30 seconds into this second half. Both teams with their starting fives out on the court. Over within drives. Oh, nice looking floater. Misses. We're still waiting for our first points, right? Oh, Nelson. Theory? Yeah, we're still waiting for these first points of this first, the, the second half of the game. Hawthorne with the three. Off the mark. Big rebound there by number 10. Two minutes into the, the third period right now. Still no score. 21 Ironwood Ridge, 29 Buena. And just like that, we got two on the board. Hawthorne, oh, is that Hawthorne? Yeah, Hawthorne bringing up the ball. Oh, a turnover oh, right now. Oh, great hustle. Ball out of bounds. Ball it wasn't really through. more of the hustle. It was like you, you, you're you leading with the ball, right? And you know, did you see how he was just, he cut the other person off the defender that was trailing him so yeah. he couldn't get in front? Yeah. That's IQ right there. Nice drive. Noah Nelson with the block. Sieg to Hawthorne. Hey, they're getting a little lazy with those passes. I don't know if you saw that. That, that was yeah. a little bit in front of uh, Hawthorne right there. Noah Nelson, three, but he traveled. The three ball doesn't seem to be falling. That's the what, fourth one we've seen now? Yeah, it has not fallen. They haven't scored yet. Crowd just got crazy for Mr. David Baba to come in. Saw him last time at Push Ridge. He has a pretty good, tough inside game. Got to watch those steps. Cutting to the basket. Trap. Good defense there by the Colts. Overton back to Baba for the three. Oh, man, that's, the, that's the that's the first excitement I've seen her come out your voice right now for that three-point yeah, shot. Right I thought now. that was going in. <laughs> Oh, stop. That's a little bit. Oh, I don't know if he dragged that foot a little bit. Forrest but. taking the three. That's the fifth three, I think, this <laughs> half. Yeah, they got to they gotta go back to their identity and let's start getting the ball inside. Like, their first six points of the game was no mid-range by either Hawthorne or Seed. So, they got to they gotta find themselves and go back to that. Noah Nelson, very good. You Defensive know, right there forces the turnover. Ryan Tell tried to save it, but threw his throat out of bounds. He, he knows some teams, you know, they, they, they go, they, you know, because when they had a good run that last two minutes of, of that second period, right? And with that two minutes of that second period, they jumped up and, what, they finished the half being up by eight points? Yeah. 
so I don't know if they're just coming back in thinking, okay, let's try something else now, but you got to stick to what you have because you can't really focus on saying, you know what, I'm going into this third quarter with, with some coin. Like, no, you, you don't. You got to you gotta think right now. Big you, you watch up by Baba. You're playing Ironwood Ridge, and they have their home crowd, which is pretty crazy right now. Yeah, this, this crowd is about to go off. If, if they would have scored on that possession right there. But Baba's give, bringing them a certain energy that I didn't see in the first half from Ironwood Ridge. You know, even right now, you know, I... You know, we, we as a coach, you just let your kids play through it for about four minutes and 20, 24 seconds right now, right? Yeah. And I'm just wondering at some point, when do you possibly may take a timeout? Just to kind of maybe just cool them down because well, my concern is... put some new blood in. Jamin Booker just checked in. I there you go, time. right there. See, yeah. you, you go back to your formula. You go back to your formula and you get something out of it. That's their first basket here. Yeah, well, I mean, I think they're trying to blow this game wide open with the three pointer. So this need, need to realize like that's six possessions where they miss on three. And if they were to get, you know, just regular layups, field goals, just like that, they could extend the lead. Still an eight point game. What did uh? What a shot by Ryan Taylor. One of my favorite comments was from Al Pacino and. And um, what movie was that? That was uh, Any Given Sunday. This is a game of inches. Exactly. Like, you, you're not going to blow this wide open. Right back to four. Go with what you know. Feeding the big man right now. Feeding the big man. We'll see if they can go back to that. Oh, pump fake. How about with the ball? Stolen. This kid could fly. Booker with the pass from Sieg. Now at this point, do you, if you're Ironwood Ridge, would you take a timeout? No, it's still only a 10-point game. Two minutes left and you're at home. Two minutes. You just got to compose yourself. You only got four points currently out this half. Oh, it's or this close period, to a five-second call right there. Ryan Taylor oh, loses the ball. So deflection. Entering the game for Buena, number 13, Mason Gordon, number 14, Hunter Haymore, and Haymore and Gordon checks in for Isaiah Overton. Uh, Colton Overton checks in for Ironwood Ridge. Baba's still on the floor. You got Williams, Hangley. Right now when I was watching, you know, the, the camera really didn't get the angle of it, but when, when the players Play came to the, to the sidelines, you know, Andrew. What I liked about what Buena coach did was like he had something to kind of get a comment for each one who came off the court. That's that's in my opinion that's 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 some coaching right there. Yeah. You know I've seen some coaches where you know you take somebody off and give them a stare down as they're walking past you and they just you know just go sit down. That's the teacher's mentality right there. Yeah. You know I spoke spoke to him before the game and you know he said you know. These, these kids are, you know, they had four players that was missing from the beginning of the season that are back. And there was eight seniors last year. So these kids are just like, you tell they're a talented team, but they're still working through the chemistry. This and is a really good team. Though. Like, yeah. so, you know, this reminds me of, this reminds me of, you know, if they make playoffs, which I, I do believe they will make playoffs, and I think they're going to get a lower seed, but right not a lower seed, a high seed, right? And... It's going to be like kind of how I want to say, what, what year was that? I want to say 2018 when Sal Point, when they had Evan Nelson transfer over from Mountain View. So he had to yeah. sit out the first half of the season. They only won like a few games. And then by the second half when he was ready to go, they they had their whole squad back. And then they made it all the way to the state championship game. Yeah. I can see a team like this doing that. Just because, you know, it, they're going to be possibly set up going into this playoffs right here playing comfortable teams. Yeah. I mean, te teams that, that that they can play their style and do the things that they need to do and to, to get to where they need to get to. Big shot right there by A.J. Forrest. I think that was a long two. It looked like a three, but it was a two. Overton drives. Fouls by Forrest. 
Let's see who caught this foul right now. I saw three bodies around him. Yeah, no. Number 34. Or 44. 44. Yeah, that was on Forrest. So Forrest, Forrest makes the. That's his first foul? Forrest makes that long three. That's his first foul of the night? Yeah, and then makes the foul. He's been playing very efficient. All right, folks, if you're tuning in, please take the opportunity to subscribe, like our page. Uh, any kind of content that we get coming in, you never know. We might be playing the school that your, your school is going to be playing in the future. Might want to scout that team out. Just please make sure you take the opportunity to tune in to what we got going on. Adams checks in for Taylor um, for Forrest. Nice put back by Aiden. Noah Adams looks like he could be a very good shooter, but I don't think I've seen him take a shot yet today. We got 49 seconds left here in the third period. 10 point lead, Buena. 28 I Ironwood, 38 Buena. Three pointer off the mark, rebound by Ryan Taylor. Kane pushes it up. Overson. Pump fake, drives past Adams. Look here, Adams. Oh, oh got to get out in transition. Turn the ball over. That was a, that could have been a foul right there. Good save there by Adams. Kick ball in the vert. I, I thought the ref could have let that play on. 12 seconds left here. If I'm, if I'm the Colts right now, I'll just take one shot. Adams inbounds it to... Hawthorne, eight seconds, Adams, two Ten seconds. And a half. Oh. All right. Three point there by DeAndre Hawthorne. So we're going to actually extend that lead a little bit in the third quarter. It's now 28-41. They got it's, something uh, out of it. Yeah, it's a 13-point game if my math is correct. 41 to 28. So you look for Ironwood Ridge to make a run here in the in the final quarter. Um, but what they're gonna need, they're gonna need some stops. They had some very good, you know, stops in the beginning of the third quarter there where, you know, pretty much our, um, the, um, the Colts were hurting themselves, you know, taking hit of bias three-pointers, but, you know, that didn't seem to hurt them because their defense didn't allow those, you know, you know, a lot of times teams take three-pointers and those turn into easy baskets the other way. Mm -hmm. They were still able to prevent that. And you had those two possessions in a row where they realized that the threes wasn't falling. They went straight to Forrest down low. He had the th a one layup and then he had the reverse we, layup. We only got, what, seven points out of Iron Road Ridge this last, this last quarter? Yep. The last period? Yep. Hawthorne on the court. Missed shot there by Hunter Haymore. Good defense, pretty good defense by um, uh, Noah yeah. Adams. I, I, I feel I, like I, they came in with a game plan for number five, Kane. Yeah. Like, it, it, he's sitting there, what, three points right now? Uh, I think he has at least six. Six? Yeah, he has two three-pointers in the first quarter. Two three-pointers. All right, so he's sitting at six points right now. Sieg with the drive and the make. You need stops. If you're Ironwood Ridge, you need stops. There goes Ryan Taylor. He's down. Oh, you can tell that kid is tough. He's tough. He's tough. That's a player that knows his team needs a point. Knows his team needs needs a bucket right there, and he was bound to go get it. You know, right now they 
you can't go what the first two minutes of a game or t two minutes of this period without a point. They got to get something out of it. They're already about 45 seconds here into this the fourth period. Yeah, it's probably going to have to points. Correction. The first half. Big rebound there by Forrest over Overton. Great hustle. Hawthorne with the ball. Good drive. Offensive foul. Looks like the foul is on Hunter Haymore. Ending the game for your Nighthawks, number 23, Joey Rosetti. Win a personal foul on number 14, Hunter Haymore. His first personal foul. Rosetti in the game now for the Nighthawks. Had some limited minutes in the first first half. Played pretty well with his minutes. Taylor drives Rosetti. Overton. Noah Williams comes out. Overton drives. Loses the ball. Picks up by Sieg. A little, a little too much dribbling, as, as I would say. I guess you're, you're ahead. You're right ahead, you're ahead by Ryan 14 Taylor points. There's second. no need to rush. There's no shot clock. David Baba. David Baba back in the game. So I was right now just looking for score for somebody. Good. Hawthorne. With the mid range with Zeddy with the rebound. I won't even rush that shot right now. Back you know out to you're up 14 game. points. Yeah. Three pointer. Off the mark. Uh, C thought about putting the ball down court. Oh, a little fancy. Skip to my loose. Dion Sanders right there. Hawthorne and, and Sieg are really quick. We got some track athletes on the court there. You put Ryan Taylor in there too. He's a, another reverse. Yeah, like he real. Noah Williams is left. This is the second time he's gone around and did the reverse. Like use the rim as your protector. And Let the steal. How many, how many times you see a guy score and come back with a defensive play? We're not. I don't, I don't know if that's a carry right there. I look a little too good, so <laughs> I'm giving the, I'll give the the ref the benefit of the doubt. As they say, Sieg is all up in his bag right now. He's trying to explain to his coach what exactly he was doing. Right, That's the second turnover by Sieg. You know, things like with a step back and and, and um, a carry. Oh, in and, in and out. out. Another rebound by Forrest. Sieg is off to the races. They're killing them with the mid ranges. The mid range is what's which is what's carrying this game for Brandon. They, they shot a lot of threes, but it's the mid range. Nice, nice, nice dish by Ryan Taylor to Noah Williams right there. Now, if they could only get some stops, they need some stops, and I think that's why they have David Baba in the game. Good pass. Traveling. Oh, did his foot slip there or? No, he, he, he just, as soon as he caught the ball, he hopped over, then he moved. Booker checks in for. All right, we're sitting about four Noah minutes. Adams. We're sitting about four minutes, 48 seconds here left in this fourth period. 31 Ironwood Ridge, 47 Buena. They're going to need to stop them every single possession now if they're going to make a comeback. Also, what I imagine you need to do too, if you're Ironwood Ridge, you're gonna, you're gonna have to start getting some fouls right now. Because their foul count is only at two. Yeah. So if they get in a close game, you wanna be already in the situation and be, put, put a person at the line at the one-on-one -on -one situation. Noah with the ball drives. 
Double team comes back to Ryan Taylor. Oh, a little deflection. Sieg might, might have got a little hand in that. There was some contact. Thought it, you know, the referee might have given him that call. Yeah, they're going to have to start following on the defensive side, I will say, with Ironwood, because they're, you know, right now at the four minute mark, you got them, you're going to have to make up some ground because they only have two fouls this half. Yeah, they need to score. Rosetti with the ball, he drives. Back to Kane, drives two, two, three people on him. I don't know about following in the act of shooting, though. Yeah, foul right there on Booker. He looks pretty young, so. Foul number 21, Booker, is first. Personal five. Probably getting, you know, some good minutes. At the line, number five. Good experience right now. Shooting two. Makes the first. If you're watching live right now, leave us a little comment. Let us know how you like it. If you want us to come do a game at your school, reach out to us on our social media pages. And yes, people, we do travel outside of Tucson. Yes. <laughs> Ironwood with the, they're starting to press now. You can, you can tell, I think C probably the Playing best ball handler, but I, I, I'm, I want to see another, another press because it seems like, you know, Brainer has a, Brainer has a way to, Break that press. Oh, loses the ball. Again, Forrest down low. Body. Noah Williams got the best of him this time. Folks, if the, um, let us know if the feed is, is freezing. Um, we're trying to work with the Wi-Fi here, so work with us. Hawthorne off to the races. Passes it to Nelson, back to Sieg. Shows the ball behind his back. Guarded by Baba. Here comes a double team. Passes it out to Hawthorne. Drives. Pops. Wow. Winner is not afraid to get into the paint. Number 30, David Baba, is first personal foul. At the line, number zero, Hawthorne. At the two line, shots. Hawthorne with two shots. 3.36 left in the final quarter here. Off the final run. That's a pretty good, pretty good looking show. This game is almost getting out of hand for for Ironwood. They need they need some points. They need some points and they need some stops. Hawthorne makes the second. They only got 12 points out the second half so far. Tyler. Number 10 just checks in the game. Little cold teller with the rebound. Nice drive off the mark. David Baba with the putback. Oh, Forrest tried to oh, dunk that. Oh, Second time this game. Oh, oh, you know, he's, he's going to try. I don't fault him for that. Uh, the only way you get one of those is if you keep on trying. I don't know if that was just a dunk. Or did, did he try to do a windmill? <laughs> like All a right. mini windmill? He tried, bring his, he tried to bring the house down. DeAndre Hawthorne is second. First of all, at the line of number three, Ryan Taylor. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Taylor needs both of these shots. Oh, a little short. So with the clock stop, you need to, you need to, you know, you need to make up the ground.
All right, there's another score here. I would say Hawthorne's heating up, but he's at, he hasn't cooled down. Tyler with the three. He's going to roll his team back. Two minutes and 13 seconds left here in this fourth period. Sieg. They're taking their time on what they're doing. A hot one with the mid-range. That's been falling all day. You... Got to get up, son. Get down the court. Don't worry about the foul. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got some showtime. Is he going to dunk it? Uh, no. I was, I was hoping for it. Timeout, Brayna. Timeout by Brayna. We got a 14-point game right now, folks. 38, Ironwood Ridge, 52. Brayna, minute 43 seconds left here in this fourth period. It's now or never for. It's now or never for um, Ironwood Ridge. Who does Brayna have next that they're going to be getting ready to play their series? Theory. Trying to find the schedule here. So Buena looking over their schedule here. Let's see here. So they got Ironwood Ridge tonight. Next they're traveling up to Phoenix for a game. BCP. And then they're gonna yeah, but on Saturday the 14th. Try to work the ball in. Another another turnover. This team's kind of playing a little sloppy right now. One minute, 28 seconds left. For Ironwood Ridge, they have Sunnyside on the 13th, and then they come back the following week and play Choi on the 17th. Two tough games coming up for them. They kind of needed this game. Win foul, by number 44. This would have been a big win if they could have pulled it off. Yeah. But that Buena defense does not disappoint. Buena's going to be, you know, a force to be reckoning coming up. The latter half of the season. I no no lie, like I said, I don't want to sound like uh, number ten. I was surprised, but I was I'm very shocked about this offensive performance by by, by Buena tonight. Yeah, they they well, their backcourt is legit. Like Sieg, Sieg and Hawthorne. That and, is a legit backcourt. I mean, but it's, it's it's a when you when you look at the game overall, it's a it's a well balanced game. Like they got the backcourt, like you said, it's legit. But they also got those needed points to stop a run when they when they needed to go down low, needed to go to AJ Forrest. So See, they have balance, is what yeah, you're saying. They have balance. Traveling. Mm -hmm. All right. And this kid right here, um, Noah Adams, he hasn't scored much, but you could tell he's on he's on the floor. He just does he does all the little dirty work. Like he's guarding a six seven, six eight guy right now. Probably gives him like six inches. But he doesn't look razzled. Ryan Taylor again with the three. He misses. Nelson and Jovic fighting for the ball. One Jovic, minute left. Jovic gotta yank that out. He got the high ground. Yep. Adam's checking in the ball. Student section here got a little quiet. Yeah. All right, we're with the. See, when you're pressing like that, you gotta get those. You gotta. You gotta make the steal. Six seconds comes off the clock. You're down by down by 12. So, get a couple stops. A couple quick threes. 
but they need some turnovers right now. Double team, tie up, possession hour goes to the toe. It's exactly what they were looking for, so you need, you need, you need a bucket here. Another bad turnover. Hustle play. Good hustle play. Yeah, he dropped on. Baba looks like he might have been hurt on that play. He's limping back on the court. It's four and five right now. And another steal and a foul. So I'm gonna say right now that's a wrap. Yeah. 17 seconds left here in this Final fourth period. Forty Iowa Ridge, 54. Buena. Remember what I was saying about the foul count? Yep. So they foul this, you know, it's going to be kind of pointless fouls right now. Now they needed to score on that last, that last turnover. They needed to score on that. And it was like, Buena forced another turnover. So Buena's defense is actually pretty amazing too. The other hard turn with the ball. So tomorrow, folks, when you guys view this, if you guys want to watch it again, we'll have it on YouTube. When it's on YouTube, it, it will look like a great production. Um, so, like I said, tomorrow, just, you know, tune in. You'll see the score ticker on the bottom. Everything will be legit. We had a little bit of technical difficulties today. Um, had to go with a different camera. Uh, but right now, like I said, tonight we'll get it done. We'll get it looking good for you folks tomorrow. But we do appreciate you guys signing in. Uh, please take the opportunity to, to subscribe to our channel, uh, like what we're doing, like the, like the film, what we got going on. And, again, we appreciate it. We appreciate the, the players. We appreciate the fans. We appreciate Arizona. We appreciate Southern Arizona. We appreciate Pinal County. We just want to give these kids some exposure. Uh, best way to do it is be out here to support them. Uh, other than that, like I said, this is Titus Palmer. Terry Thurman. We're signing off. Have a great day.